I'm Jay. I'm G. We're going to read Perky Pelican, A Tale of a Lively Bird by Suzanne Tate. Perky Pelican was perky. He was lively as could be. Perky lived on Sandy Island with the other pelicans. Helpful humans made Sandy Island. When they dug a deep channel for boats to use, they piled up the sand. The sand formed an island, a safe place for Perky and his family. Perky's mother made her nest on Sandy Island. She placed sticks one at a time on a bush. Then she covered the sticks with grass. Perky's mother laid two eggs in her nest, and Perky's papa took turns with her in caring for the eggs. They kept the eggs warm by wrapping their feet around them. Mother Nature gave pelicans hot feet. Perky was the first to hatch. He pecked and pecked so hard that the egg nearly jumped out of the nest. Perky's little sister, Pammy, hatched three days later, so she was smaller than him. At first, Perky and his sister had no feathers, and they looked like baby dinosaurs. I wish we had feathers like you, Perky said to his mother. Don't worry, your papa and I will take care of you, his mother said, and soon you will be covered with soft white down. The pelican parents also took turns feeding the chicks. They stuffed them with fishy food. Soon, Perky and Pammy were snow white, just as their mother had said. And every time dinner flew in, Perky was lively. Here I am, here I am, he squawked. Sometimes Perky stuck his whole head into his mother's bill to grab food. He was so hungry. Perky and Pammy Pelican grew and grew. Patches of brown feathers began to show on their bodies. Nine weeks went by and Perky grew to be a large bird with strong brown feathers. He spread his wings and felt proud. Look at me now, he squawked. Well, it's time for you to learn to fly and catch your own fish, said Perky's papa. Perky lifted up his wings and soon could fly above the water around Sandy Island. He watched some pelicans as they dived for fish. The big birds dropped from the sky head first. Splash! Then they scooped up fish in their big beaks. That looks easy, Perky said to himself. Straight down he came. Splash! But he didn't get any fish. Perky knew he had to keep trying. He dived again and again that day. At last, he began to catch a fish or two. A little gull came and sat on his head, looking for a free meal. This kind of fishing is for the birds. There must be an easier way to fish, thought Perky. He watched a long line of pelicans flap their wings and glide. I'll follow them, Perky said to himself and his big wings lifted him into the air. Soon, Perky saw a fisherman and his boat. He was taking fat backs out of his net and throwing them to the pelicans. Humans don't like to eat fat backs, but pelicans do. Perky flew down and landed on the water. The fisherman threw him a fat back. Perky grabbed it right away. And that fish was gone in one gulp down Perky's gullet. A pretty little pelican swam up to Perky. I'll show you how to get lots of fish, she said. Perky perked up his head. Then he saw that it was his little sister, Pammy. But Perky noticed something had happened to her. How have you been? He asked politely. I hurt my wing one day when I was diving for fish, she replied. Now I can't dive very well. But I've learned an easy way to fish, his sister said. Come, let me show you. And Pammy swam beside the net, pulling out fat backs one by one. Perky followed her, and he too tugged from the net all the fish he wanted. The fisherman watched them. Thanks for helping me clean my net, he said. You can have your fill of fat backs any time you wish. The fisherman started his motor and headed for the dock. The pelicans felt 
full and happy. Thanks for showing me an easy way to fish, Perky said to Pammy. Let's look for the fisherman tomorrow. Then Perky Pelican, always a lively bird, led the way home to Sandy Island. The end.